Guys, this is gonna be a very fun video because we get to wreck a hard drive in multiple ways. And I know that many of you, myself included, have always probably been very careful when handling a laptop to make sure you don't shake it too much, worried about that hard drive getting damaged. But you may have wondered, I know I have, about just how much damage can you really do by shaking a hard drive and how hard would you really have to shake it to completely break it. So that's what we're gonna do today and we're gonna kinda take things to the extreme. And not only are we just going to shake it by hand the boring way, we're gonna actually use a specialized piece of equipment known as a vortexer, normally used in scientific laboratories to mix things and basically just shake the hell out of whatever you put on it. And yes, of course, we're going to strap a hard drive to it. Oh, and yeah, obviously while it's running. And you can see on this particular Vortex, so there are three settings for 1,000, 2,000, and a maximum of 3,000. And just for a little bit more fun, we're gonna throw in a few surprises towards the end, so I think you guys are gonna enjoy this one. So why don't we just jump right in? Oh, and of course, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I gotta shill that social media, so you can follow me on there. It's just at Theo Joe. So let's take a look and I'll explain the setup pretty quickly. I have a laptop and in there I attached a SATA extension cable so I can plug the hard drive directly into the motherboard so the drive is not running off USB or anything. It's booting just as if it was inside the computer and this drive I'm going to be using is a 2.5 inch 7200 RPM drive. So Windows is running and what I'm going to do is play one of my videos off the drive. So if the video stops playing that obviously means the drive is having issues. So it should be pretty obvious to see what's going on. So to start off we can just shake it a bit and you can already see just shaking it by hand a tiny bit freezes up the drive so the video stops playing momentarily and I wasn't even shaking it that hard. I was actually surprised. And of course it does go back right away and start playing again. So this doesn't kill the drive obviously, but it does freeze it just a bit. And I believe what's going on is most modern hard drives I think have some sort of features in there that kind of freeze the drive head if enough g-force is applied and that's just a common sense safety feature in there. And also we can bring up the resource monitor and use that to kind of look at the drive stats while this is being shook. And you can kind of see, even though it's a little bit dark, what's happening here with the drive activity being green, it stops completely when you shake the drive. And also in blue, that's the action cue, and you can see that builds up. So basically, when the drive is being shook, the video stops, and then it builds up a cue for actions to take once it's ready to go again and then it continues. So clearly there are no major issues here just shaking it by hand and we can go and try the vortex or the fun part. So I can strap it down and we'll start off on the low setting of 1000. And right away after it starts the video stops and we can try to navigate windows. Doesn't seem to be working completely here so the drive is totally locked up while shaking at least but Windows it hasn't crashed completely or anything. Windows is still running in the RAM and all that. And I did click on a few things in the Explorer and after I do stop the shaking and give it a second, you'll notice that both the windows I tried to open before open now because it queued up that and then it loads it off the drive once it's ready. Now we can try it again at 2000 and obviously if it stopped at 1000, it's stopping again at 2000. And I was actually able to open a explore window here, but again, it freezes when I try to navigate into another folder and then it loads when I stop it. So no surprises there. So now at this point, let's try the maximum of 3000 and it shook it so hard here that the cable pretty much fell out right away. It wasn't secured enough. I tried to plug it back in before Windows crashed or anything, but it didn't like that. I still had to restart the computer and luckily it did actually boot again so we can keep going and do more tests. So this time I re repositioned it with rubber band to hold the plug in better. So I put it back on max after it was booted again and let it go for a little while, stopped and started it, but I could not get it to kill the drive completely. It kept recovering, at least for now. There's a little bit more we're gonna do in a bit. Now I did take some super slow motion footage of the drive shaking at 960 FPS, so that's pretty cool to see here. And it does really bounce this thing around like crazy. I was actually a little bit more surprised about how much vigor this thing had. And again, you could see the cable fell out this time too, and the drive just kind of flew off to the side. So this thing is really 
getting knocked around. I put it back on more secured and again, it's, you can see it's getting knocked up and down and sideways every which way. It's not just being spun around. This thing's really taking a beating. Now, before we get to some of the really crazy stuff, I thought I would do a quick test the same way with an SSD, a solid state drive. And so I hooked that up the same way, started playing a video, and you can see it does not actually stop that video at all. It keeps continuously reading off the drive because SSDs have no moving parts, so it doesn't care about being shook. And if you look at the resource monitor, you'd see that the green activity graph doesn't stop at all. Even on the highest speeds of being shaken, it doesn't stop at all. At this point, I really wanted to kill the hard drive, so I put it on while unplugged for a bit and just kind of let it run for a minute. And then I put it on its side and did plug it in, so kind of a different angle, thinking maybe that would do it, and while it was running. But again, even doing that, the drive still would not die. So these things can actually take quite a bit of a beating, apparently. I mean, I thought this thing would be broken pretty quickly, but it actually did hold up. I was really impressed, and I wasn't sure how much more it would take to break it by putting this on a shaker. So I figured, you know what, instead of waiting around, let's just see what would happen if we open up the drive while it's running. So yes, I unscrewed this thing and took off the cover while it was running. Of course, using safety glasses, safety first. I didn't want the platter shattering in my eyes. I actually didn't notice any issues until I finally unscrewed that last center screw below the label. And right away after I did that, I started hearing like a high pitched screeching and only then did the video start to stutter a bit. And the noise and the stuttering became really, really obvious after I took off the co cover completely while it was running. I guess some air got in there or maybe it wasn't as secure or something like that. Now, I bet you guys know what's coming next. Obviously, we have to put this thing on the shaker while open, while running. It is the natural next step, right? So here is a super slow motion view of that happening. It's open, running on the shaker, and you'll notice it does stop moving the drive head when it's wobbling. So that's kind of what I expected was going on before. But at some point, you can see the drive head at least once wobble back and forth a bit, and maybe even drift a tiny bit more towards the center of the drive. So it does seem to be doing something. And I also took another one of a super close up, slow motion, and kind of forgive the reflection of the light. And there's actually nothing too interesting here. I tried to restart and stop the shaking while it was moving pretty quickly so it wouldn't have too much time to stay stopped. But even then, the drive seemed surprisingly stationary. Now, obviously, this drive is not usable anymore. It's completely useless. And I wondered if it would actually boot after all this. And the answer is no, it does not boot. It just makes a horrible screeching sound and then crashes before Windows can even boot. And you can actually hear it click a few times if you listen closely. The drive head is slapping something in there. I don't know, this drive, we killed it basically, but it was not necessarily from the shaking. It was probably just from opening it up. So yeah, I think that concludes the experiment. If you guys wanna keep watching, I did some other experiments where I like delete the Windows registry and delete System32. I'll put a couple links right here. You can just click on those. I would love to hear what you guys think. I'm looking forward to hearing from you down in the comments. So I hope to see you guys next time and have a good one.